All right, so um, I mentioned in the previous video that Newton's second law was originally written in the following way. The net force is equal to the derivative of the momentum of the particle. Um, so what I want to do is manipulate this expression just a little bit. So I have a derivative on the right-hand side. So if I want to get rid of the derivative, then what I have to do is integrate. So if I integrate the net force with respect to time, and on the right-hand side, I integrate this derivative of the momentum with respect to time, well, on the right-hand side, I have an integral of a derivative. And according to the fundamental theorem of calculus, this is just going to give me the final momentum minus the initial momentum. Okay, so whatever time frame I'm integrating over, I'm going to get the final minus initial. Okay, and on the left-hand side, I have this integral of the net force with respect to time. Okay, so um, the thing on the left, we give a name to. This quantity is useful enough that um, it gets its own name, and we call this the impulse. Okay, so the impulse, which um, has a variable capital J vector, um, because it's a vector, it's the integral of a force, so the integral of a vector gives us a vector. Um, it's just, again, the integral of the net force with respect to time. It's equal to the final momentum minus the initial momentum, or um, it's equal to just the change in momentum. Okay, so given this relationship that J is equal to the change in momentum, um, this tells us when momentum is constant and when it is not constant. So the momentum of a particle stays the same unless there is a net impulse on it. Okay, so from the, from the original expression, you might have thought that it would be important that the net force was zero. But that's not strictly true, because if we have a force that, say, increases the momentum and then later a force that decreases it again, the total momentum can stay constant, even though maybe in the middle it changed. So this is our rule. Um, if there is no net impulse, then the momentum stays constant. 